Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek. Today I want to share with you guys my USB-C starter kit. These are things you're going to need in your life if you just bought a device that uses a USB-C connection. All of these things are thin and light so that you can pack them away in a bag if you're traveling, if you're going to work, going to school, and you need access to some of the older ports that you had on your old computer. These are some things that will make the USB-C transition a little easier. I've also teamed up with Anchor, who sponsored today's video, to bring you guys a giveaway, and I'll be announcing those details here in a little bit. All right, so first up on the list is something that I consider to be an absolute must have is this SanDisk dual USB drive. The concept here is very simple. You basically pull the slider to reveal a USB-A connection and you push the slider the other way and it'll give you a USB-C connection. It's all the same drive, so they're not like different files or anything. It's the same USB drive, just with two connections. Next up, if you're looking for a little bit more storage for like professional work, photo editing, video editing on the go, you're gonna need an external hard drive. This is a solid state drive from G Technology. It's got this beautiful design that I'm super in love with. This is what made me ultimately get this over the Samsung T5 because I just love this design so much. It's super sturdy, it's IP67 waterproof, and it's drop proof up to like 3 meters or something like that, which is about 10 feet. And pff, I don't know, this thing is just so small and compact. This device comes with two cables. One is USB-C to USB-C, and the other one is USB-C to USB-A. That way you can actually use this with older hardware that just have the normal USB ports. And since it is an SSD, it does not sacrifice speed for the size. Transfer speeds are gonna be super quick. I'm dragging this eight gigabyte folder into this SSD, and it's taking about 10 seconds to copy completely, which is absolutely insane. So this coupled with the extraordinary design that I think looks better than the Samsung ones. Just make this a great all-around travel hard drive. So if you're looking for more storage and you don't want one with moving parts that can break or fail, this is the way to go. Now let's talk about the giveaway. When you get a new device or a new laptop or whatever, you're definitely gonna need a backup cable because the Apple ones, you know, they get frail, they fall apart after a little while. That is where Anchor comes in because Anchor makes quality accessories that are actually affordable. This cable in particular is USB-C to USB-C. It's from their Powerline series, so it's super tough. It's not gonna fall apart after a little while. It can charge any size MacBook Pro with up to 100 watts of power delivery. It does support USB 3.1 one Gen 2, so it supports the full speeds of that SSD I just showed you. And Anchor is giving away 1,000 of these things. All you have to do is go to the link down in the description and sign up with your email address. The top 100 winners will get to choose between the Powerline Plus and Powerline Plus 2 nylon braided cables, and the other 900 winners will get the PVC cables that you've seen here. You will get to choose between USB-C, micro USB, or a lightning, so it's super handy, universal with all devices. All the rules and details are linked in the description. The giveaway is available in the US, the UK, and Germany. Entries will close on August 14th, and the winners will be contacted by email before August 17th, so be sure you use a real email. So go ahead, get all of your entries in right now for your best chance to win. All right, what if you have existing accessories that you want to use with your new MacBook, but they only have USB-A? Well, to solve this major first world problem, I'd like to recommend this USB-A to USB-C adapter. This is actually from Nanda. You just slap it on your plug and then you slap it into the computer and bang, you got USB back. And for those of you wondering, yes, this does work with Apple's SuperDrive, so you can play DVDs with this dongle which you cannot do on USB-C hubs. All right, at this time, I just wanna quickly warn you guys against this product, the hyperdrive. This was actually a highly anticipated drive. I think the concept here is actually very, very smart and a great, great design. So if you don't wanna have a dongle hanging out of your computer, this is actually the way to go. However, I just wanna warn you guys against this because for me, it hasn't really worked out. First of all, the build quality is pretty sturdy. So you'd think that it would hold in your connections while you are working with your computer and your peripherals. However, time and time again, when I use this thing, more often than not, everything kind of just disconnects if something even just slightly bumps the side of my computer. 
It also kind of feels like it could snap off at any time. If you ask me, I would recommend to you one of this design. And yes, this is from Anchor, although I did buy this one myself. This is not a side mount design. This uses a USB-C cable to connect your computer to the hub. What's great about this over the hyperdrive, at least for me, is when I go to remove one of the things plugged in, it doesn't disconnect the other things from my computer, which happens all the time with the hyperdrive and I just can't deal with it. And it comes with a travel pouch, so... Yeah, they, they've really thought of everything here. Alright you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, there's a button for that. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, there's also a button for that. Remember, all the giveaway details are in the description. Good luck to everyone in the giveaway, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.